<laughs> Welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> what? <laughs> Babe, there's nothing humble about this abode. I mean, I know you're just trying to be humble, but this place is beautiful. I mean, if I have something like this, what else would I do? Babe, yeah. you're in the big city now, okay? You have to start dreaming big. Exactly, but this is me dreaming big, babe, isn't it? <laughs> yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Let me show you to the bedroom. Okay, that way? <laughs> no, this way. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Forgive me. All right. Oh, this is beautiful. I know. <sighs> What's on your mind? Nothing. I... Tell me. I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for everything you've done for me. <sighs> Be. I'm happy to help and you're going to get this job. I, I pray I will. <laughs> you sure will. What's up? Um, what's up? Oh, okay. I'm coming. Uh, give me a moment, okay? All right. Hey, Tada! What's that? <laughs> Something for your interview. You got me a suit? <laughs> yes, I want you to look the part. Do you like it? Hmm. <sighs> what now? You suit. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank it's you. okay. No, thank you. Serious, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you can eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, thank you, sir. I'm impressed. You are really the perfect candidate for this job, I must say. Thank you, sir. So, th this means I got the job? Well, left for me. The answer will be a straight yes. But you see, my job here is to look out for the perfect candidate and all their people to the board of directors. It's left for them to decide who they really want. Okay, sir. Give me please. All right. I just send the details to my superior. Keep your fingers crossed. Okay, sir. Um, one more thing. D do I have to wait here, or I should go home and wait for a response? Well, it's, it's not supposed to take long. I mean, it's just you and the other candidate. Let's say an hour at most. I see you're anxious to celebrate. I pray I will. Yeah. For the meantime, just wait at the reception. I'll give you a call once I get there. Oh, okay, sir. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Congratulations once again. Congratulations! <laughs> Celebrating your new job. Tell me, how did it go? I... I didn't get the job. 
Why? What, what happened? But you called me and you said you made it to the final stage and that you're so sure that the job is yours. Yeah, because at that time I was, I was very sure the words were in my favor. What happened? Thank you so much for interviewing with us. But unfortunately, we have given the offer to another candidate and they have accepted the offer. I'm so sorry. Wish you the best in career, babe. The HR told me that though I was the best candidate, I couldn't get the job because I lacked the job experience, that I was not qualified to manage a team of experienced tax managers. What? Yeah. I'm so sorry, okay? It's fine, babe. No need to apologize. You did nothing wrong. I'm very sure if this, you know, went the way we wanted by now, we'd be celebrating. Sorry. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. door locked. How would it be locked? It's almost midnight. It's just a few minutes past 11. That's midnight to me. And where are you going? To the club. To the club, Alice, on a Monday. I was young once. And during my days, even the most reckless girls were serious on the Monday. And who goes to a club on a Monday anyway? Okay, mommy, your time and my time, very different times, okay? Everybody goes clubbing on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, it's... Okay, and besides, you said I'm the most hardworking person that you know. So what does it matter if I club on a Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday? What does it matter? It matters. Because you are doing it too much. <sighs> Look, there's nothing wrong in having fun once in a while. But when you do it every day of the week, you... Huh? Alice, look, I'm just worried. Okay, Mom. You have nothing to be worried about. You're hearing it directly from the horse's mouth. This is your behavior. It's gonna chase good men away. Okay, Mommy. No. No, we are not having this conversation again. I have said it to everyone, including you, and I don't know why you of all people don't understand that I am not interested in any man. You're not interested in any man. Stop talking such nonsense. Stop it. Look, it's been almost five years. You need to do the needful. I'm not going to go down because of your foolishness. Do you hear me? I'm not. I don't want to keep my friends waiting, so I'm going to go now. Alice. And don't wait up for me, Mom. I'll lock it from outside.
Tu îi scoamă locul două. Uh? Uh. 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 What's going on? I'm leaving. We talked about this. I know we did. But there's nothing here for me. Absolutely nothing. Let me guess. There's plenty waiting for you where you came from, hmm? It's not like that. I want you to see this from my point of view. I don't have a job. I don't have an accommodation. What? I have no means whatsoever of survival. But I'm not asking you to leave. Are you asking me to stay back? To stay back without a job? For you to take care of me and feed me? It's bonkers. It, it makes no sense. Says who? Says tradition, oh, religion. God. My pride as a man. So this is it, huh? You've given up hope of ever finding a job. I guess you never believed in yourself. Why would you say things like that? Your action is suggesting that you do not believe in yourself. And frankly, I'm disappointed for falling in love with a man. Like Miriam, I go out every day to look for a job that I can find. I have a mother back at home who I cannot even take care of. When it gets bad, you know what I do? I still want a man to feed. And I am not proud of it. I understand, baby. But you can't go. Please stay. Okay? There are endless opportunities in this city. Soon. You find yourself a suitable job, then you can take care of yourself, your mother, and me. Please let go. Okay? Positive. Please be me. You sly. What is it? Don't use your reverse psychology on me, madam. You should have waited for me at least. And why should I? You refused to tell me what was really going on. I didn't want you to panic, okay? And that is exactly what happened with your action. <sighs> okay, fine. I apologize. That is what I was hoping to hear. Not you trying to play fast one on me. Oh, see, it's okay. All right? Let's have drinks tonight. I'll pay. There's this new spot I discovered whilst I was waiting for my mechanic. It is classy. I'm sure you'll love it. Sorry, babe, I can't. But I apologize now. And what makes you think I did not accept your apology? So? Larry is coming to town today. What? Yes. I was as surprised as you were. He called me this morning to say that he was at the airport. Oh my gosh. These men, they're all killjoys. <laughs> not to me. I'm about to get my something something service tonight. <laughs> Please, Ashao. All right, bye. All these men are about to be my friends. I need to get a new set of friends. <coughs> mm. And what can I do for you? I came to drop it. Hey, honey. Hey, babe. <laughs> Mm. How was work today? <sighs> Same as every day. Sit around and listen to customers complain about their issues. Like I don't have mine. Mm. Life of a customer care representative. It's just funny how these clients come at me like I'm the cause of their problem. Ugh. That is what your job entails, right? So you have no choice <laughs> but to try and enjoy. I know, I have no choice indeed. So how's the job searching going? Well, uh, so far so good. I've written like five uh, applications. Mm. One to the book. Sure. Babe. Oh, hi. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. So why won't you just tell me about your day, huh? Because nothing interesting happened. 
And of course, if anything positive comes up, you'll be the first to know. Baby, I just want you to be hopeful. Nothing good comes easy. That saying only applies to the less privileged like us. Everything comes easy for the rich. Everything. Our time will come, okay? Uh, who was that? Nobody. Come on, baby. Who was that? It was my mom. So why are you not taking her call? I don't want to disappoint her. I don't... I don't want to raise her hopes high, only to dash them on the ground. Baby, what is this energy? Okay, so what's the point of writing all that applications if you don't believe you eventually get the job? If I'm being honest, I'm just, I'm just writing those applications for writing sake. You asked me how my day was ending. Do you really want to know? Of course. My day was terrible. It was disappointing. It was degrading. Today, a security guard refused me entrance into an office complex because I, I, I couldn't bribe him. What? Yes. And even the office where I managed to gain entrance into the, the reception, they asked me to drop my CV. And do you know how long that's going to stay on the table until someone gets tired of seeing it and trashes it into the can? Yes. You're optimistic. She's, she's calling me. You can speak her calls. I thought I was going to send her some money this weekend. Obviously, I lied because I don't even have a single penny to my name. Fine. Just pick her call. Tell her you're going to send her the money now. You don't understand. Where, where am I supposed to get the money from? Am I supposed to get it from Chris? I just sent you money. Send it to her. What? I just sent you money. Send it to her, okay? Show you what my lady Place no one above you Since the day I found you Girl, you were my lady Show you what my lady Yes, Gotta send it to her you know. I'm gonna love you like never before Treat you good Yes, mom, and you too you see why I was happy when you went to Lagos? I knew you would find favor there. Mom, it is God's doing. And Miriam has been very encouraging. A very good girl. And well mannered. I agree with you, Mom. She is. Please, eh? I would like to speak with her whenever you see her. Um, <clears throat> yes, Mom. Whenever I'm with her. Or the next time I see her, I'll, I'll make sure you speak to me. Please, my son. And don't let those uh, Lagos girls distract you. Of course, ma'am. You know your son is always focused. Okay, my son. Hmm? I will call you tomorrow. Good night. All right, ma'am. Good night. <laughs> the Lagos girls part got me. <laughs> What is it again? I gave you the phone to talk to my mom. You didn't want to talk to her. Why? <laughs> of course I want to talk to your mom. But what if I speak to her and she finds out that we're living together? Hmm? Oh yeah, I didn't think about that part. And I think your mom likes me. Cut the fool. My mom loves you. She's always loved you. Mm -hmm. I'm sweet. I'm more like in love. <laughs> Madam, <laughs> this one you came visiting me today. You know, things have changed. Things changed? What changed? Since you got married, I mean, your status. Has... Wait, 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 what did you say? I'm married. When did I get married and I'm not aware of it? Uh, you're not married. I thought you were married, 
So that guy living with you, is he your relative? <sighs> what are we going to call this thing you're doing right now? Hmm? I can understand a woman moving in with a man to cohabit with him. But I don't understand when it's the other way around. Babe, it's just for the meantime. Soon he will get a job, get his own place, and move out. Chill. That's what you said two months ago. <sighs> but he's here to secure a job. So if he doesn't get the job eventually, we'll be here forever. What are you even talking about? See, true talk. I'm just talking true talk. And I just hope you don't regret all these things you are doing. I'm not going to regret it. How will I regret it, huh? Miss. It seems you haven't regretted your big guy very well. The guy is fine. And I will tell you for free. If those lucky big girls or eyelash sugar movies set their eyes on him, so pay to know. He don't go. Well, my Dave is not like that. Oh, yeah. I forgot that your Dave is like Joseph, that resisted Potiphar's wife. What do I even know? I'm just doing my own part as a friend. What kind of bad mouth is that? So, what do you think about this? Um, I, I really don't know if I could pick. All the colors you've shown me are are so beautiful. Come on now, Alice. I mean, you have planned events over the years and you have been so successful at that. And in two days, I've been trying to get you to choose a theme for me. Just, just choose this color, choose a color and it's been so difficult for you. Look, I... I don't know if I can do this. Okay, I just have to tell you the truth. Okay, and why is that? Do you know how difficult it is for parents to say goodbye to their daughters when they are getting married? That's exactly how I feel. Okay, 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 okay. I, I will stop you there. Last I checked, you're not my parent, so what's up with that? The point is, I'm going to miss you. And I know once you walk down that aisle, our friendship is gone. Oh. Listen. I appreciate the fact that you're going to miss me, but come on. Why would I stop being friends with you because I am getting married? Make it make sense. Seriously? Yeah, seriously, you're not making sense. Okay, I don't think that Larry will want us to still be friends after you guys tie the knot. He's never really liked me. Okay, hold on. First of all, Larry doesn't have a problem with you. So get that thought out of your head. Secondly, I think that you're the one that needs to make like a character change or adjustment or something. I don't know that I can live any other way. What do you mean? You don't know that I can live differently. You weren't born to live like this. Maybe I was, or maybe I am. Just stop it, okay? We, we both know you're not. Listen, darling, Kesta is not coming back. I mean, he has moved on with a new family in Canada, and the sooner you get that into your head, the better for you. It's not coming back. You know, that guy was just a gold digger. <laughs> it's the same we all told you. But no, you were carried away by what? His good looks? And, and hey, what? <laughs> hey. Don't be a show off. Not all men can be like Larry. You're lucky. Uh, yeah, I know I am. And not all men are like Kester, okay? So the sooner you open up your heart to love again, the better. I mean, look at you, honey. There's love everywhere out there. So come on. So now back to this. Now that I have talked It's too dark. The you. color is too dark. No way! Hi! Hi! 
Welcome back. It's good to see you. Mm, mm. You're so sweet. What are you making? Well, I'm making dinner, of course. Mm. How's work today? You're a bit late today. <sighs> because traffic. Oh, that's a constant. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know, right? Yeah. Okay. You can go to the room now. No, I'll no, finish up. No. Let me finish what I started. You go, freshen up, and dinner will be served soon. <sighs> Thank you, baby. Yeah. When you're done, there's something I need to stop about. Am I in any kind of trouble? <gasps> no. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. I see ya. I'm sorry. Okay, I, I didn't mean to offend you. Oh, well, you did. I'm sorry. I was only trying to help. I just felt instead of writing endless CVs, going for interviews, getting frustrated. I mean, why not try entrepreneurship? And you think learning how to be a shoe cobbler was a good idea? But you've always loved fixing shoes, right from when we were in school. Times have changed. That was then. I don't understand. Sorry I brought it up, okay? Hmm. I'm sorry. It's fine. <laughs> that was easy. Sorry, sorry! <laughs> Yeah. Oh, thank you. It um actually belonged to my dad, but he passed nine years ago. So sorry to hear that. Thank you. So is the beautiful house all by yourself? No, I uh, I live with my mom. Cheryl? No, she traveled. But let me go upstairs, change, and get ready. Get ready for what? Aren't we meant to go out? I think so, not until now. It's not around. So I can just. Uh, have fun here. Hello, ex excuse me. I think you should leave. Why? Why? Because I said so. What? I literally let a monster into my home. You see what I keep saying? This love thing is not for me. Come on. Don't say it like that. I mean, these things happen. Oh. You see, this is my problem. These things happen. Has it happened to you? Did it ever happen to you? Why does it have to happen to me? So what's the big deal? You can't just get white hair. Mom is not around. You can do crazy things. So. Uh, okay, this is the last time I'm going to tell you. Leave my house or else... Or else what? Hello. Yes. DSP John, I I am at home. No, my, my guest is still here, although he was just about to leave. Oh, you'd like to speak to him? Alright. It's DSP John from the State CID, and he'd like to say hello to you. Really, you are one smart girl. <laughs> the moment I heard DSP John, I knew something was up. I don't <laughs> even know where that came from. It just, just, it just came up in my head. It's called survival instinct. Mm -hmm. But wait, let me ask you: If you had wanted to speak to DSP John, would you have given him the phone? I don't know. I was just acting on impulse at the time. <laughs> but now that I think of it, if I had given him the phone and he collected it, what would you have said? Uh, become DSP John. <clears throat> Young back. Stop. <laughs> Wait, you have to get my shirt. Don't let me up. Stop. You have to... <laughs> Young man, mm -hmm. she sends me a picture. I hope you're being a good boy. 
<laughs> what is that supposed to be? Something like a guy. Since you look all DSP, Paula or DSP. I think I think it's girl. Oh my goodness. But <laughs> seriously now, what are you going to do? I don't know. But what I do know is I'm not going home. I'm too scared to do that. I should go clubbing tonight. Then I am coming to kill. Sounds like music to my ears. Clubbing. Wait, what of Larry? Auntie, if Rafuku told me that you are fasting, I wouldn't have bothered serving you anything. I don't remember telling you that I'm hungry. Ah. So please gracefully take this drink back to wherever you brought it from. Nachi, what's with your tone? Are we fighting? <laughs> like I don't have time to fight. Never said you have me booking our calls. <sighs> oh, now I see why you're acting weird. Can you just ignore the way I'm acting and let's focus on why I'm here? <sighs> anyway, um. I've not been picking because I don't know how to tell her that that I, I can't be her chief vice Um, Why is that? Well, why I, will, will, let me help you answer since you suddenly lost your voice. Let's not do this, Nachi, please. What are we doing? <laughs> like I've done anything. It's like you don't like the truth. You are gradually pulling away from your friend. I just hope you don't regret all these things you're doing. <sighs> please. Maybe we should just try and understand. How do you expect us to understand? When you've practically become a husband to a man you're not even engaged to. I just have a lot on my plate. You have a lot of self-imposed responsibilities. That's why you cannot afford a bridal gown for your best friend's wedding. What do you want me to do? What? I was the one that invited him to the city. Don't you think it would be unfair if I just send him packing? Would you like that if I do that to you? Life itself is unfair. What you are doing to yourself is unfair. I just hope you have the guts to do the right thing before this guy eventually dumps you. Oh, you will jump very fast. And trust me, my shoulders will not be there for you to cry on. Are, are you leaving already? My job here is done. I'll just tell Laura to look for another chick by teenage. Uh, Nachi. If we play this game ten times, I'm going to win you ten times. Mm -hmm. Right there. This is the killer. Fine. Mary, how many years have I known you? Tell me. What's the problem? Uh, I want to ask you something. Do you promise to be brutally honest with me? Brutally honest? Okay, this is serious. Yes, it's serious. It doesn't on my mind all day. Alright, you have my attention. Shoot. Okay. If no, scratch that. When things begin to fall in place for you and you become successful, are you going to forget all that you've been through and find comfort in the arms of another woman? Was your friend here today? Uh, well, that's not the answer to the question. Just answer the Why question. Why would you even ask me a question like that? I would not betray you. Not for all of the money in the world. And this is not even the conversation that I want to have with you in the nearest future. Excuse me. Babe, I, I just... 
I didn't mean it that way. I just wanted to know. Where are you going? It's late. Babe. Understand. I promise I will not ask such questions again. Just stop allowing your friends get in your head. I understand if you need reassurance, but not when someone else influences it. Um, I'm sorry, baby. It will not happen again. Please. All right. That's fine. Hmm? Think his way. Think his way. <laughs> Think it's it. So, can you go to the room now, please? All right, carry me to the room. How am I supposed to do that? All right, then, I want to sleep. Come on! <laughs> okay, okay, fine, fine. Don't keep on leaving. Stop, stop. Okay, I'll go, I will follow you. All right. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm standing up. Okay, okay up, right. up, go. Right. Okay, let's see. Treat you good, show you the world. Yes, it's true. Everything you want, baby, I do for you. Oh my, everything you want, baby, I do. Oh, I gotta let you know I made a reservation for two. Oh, oh baby, you want to spend my whole baby. life with you. Oh, yes, it's true. Everything you want, baby, I babe, do. Babe, are you in there? Oh my, for you. Why did this coconut head of my boyfriend like you? Hey. Babe. Here you are. Hey. Good morning, baby. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> How was your night? Fine, thank you. Why are you up early? You don't expect me to see me in bed by this time, do you? Yes, I did. <laughs> Except that you just ruined my plans. What plan? To serve you breakfast in bed. <laughs> oh my god. And I was saying the other day that you're not romantic. I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine. You just have to wait till another day. No. Okay, yeah. why don't I go back to the room and pretend to be asleep so that when you walk in, I'll be surprised. <laughs> really? <laughs> all right, all right. All right, baby. All right. Oh, can't wait. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, it's ready. Yep. <laughs> oh. Oh, it looks good. Can I dive in? <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> um, are you not eating? Well, the absolute pleasure will be to watch you eat. Babe. What is this? This is what I think it is. <laughs> oh my god. Mary, I know I am not where you want me to be. But I'm working on it. And I will be there soon. So in anticipation of a beautiful future. That we will both have. Would you do me the honor? Be my wife. Yes, yes, yes. I'll be your wife. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh my 
my god it's real thank you no thank you i love you i love you too you know how long have you been planning this well i've been planning it for a while now i almost did it last night well, except for the drama so i couldn't <laughs> now i get a sweet attempt for breakfast in bed which you always always ruined. well but you eventually did it yes i did and thank you so much babe, for saying yes of course yes 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 and more yes to come i am the happiest man in the world. you just made me a fulfilled woman today <laughs> come get me some shit i love you <laughs> Don't spill the tea. Period. Period. I'll spill the tea. I'll go all my friends and spill the tea. Time we spent to get the get the peak of my phone, dial your number. Hey, just wanna holler. Now I got the clue. Oh, baby, see, I miss you. I don't know what to do. Oh, baby, see, I miss you now. Huh. Don't you ever take away that smile. No matter how it feels, we could work it out Oh baby, you and I Just work things out, things uh, out. Just work things out Cause you're my everything And everything is you yeah, You're my everything You're my everything And uh, everything is you My everything is you You're my everything And everything is you yeah, yeah. Alice. Yes, mommy. Off to work already? Mm hmm. We need to talk. <sighs> mommy, this is not the right time, okay? Can, I'm late to an appointment already. I know there's never a right time to talk with you. Okay. Can we do this when I get back from work? No, because I know that when you get back, you tell me you're tired, that you want to sleep. Mommy. Look, I'm not going to take your time, okay? I just want to show you something. What is this? <laughs> You'll have to find out yourself. And I expect a response at the end of today. Okay, I'll, I'll look at it once I get to the office. Bye, Mom. So, 30% um, goes to you and your mom, while 70% goes to your dad's relatives. You know, I could have cared less until I saw the pictures and information attached to the document. She just wanted you to see this. I mean, that was a smart move from your mom. Those people don't deserve a pin from your dad. They could bother less if he died. Okay, in fact, they wanted him to die faster so they could take everything he left behind. But I don't know. So, um, what are you going to do now? Don't, Paula, okay? Don't what? I know you're going to ask me to consider getting a man to avoid all this. Huh. Well, I never said that, but now that you have mentioned it, I think it's an idea worth considering. I know? knew you were going to say that. Baby girl, it's been five years, okay? Come on now. Me, I'm not getting any younger. Hey. Are you done with my shoe? Yes, madam. I don't finish the shoe. It's, it's okay now. What is this stain on my shoe? Eh, uh, ah. Uh, the gun we will use, so you can just clean it. It will clean well. Just, uh, so. 
so it can clean. But you waited to for me to come here and you can give me my shoe with this Madame, stain on we it. Don't, we don't have soap here now. And you can't buy soap to clean my shoes? Do you know how much? Where is Ogatobi? Why would he leave my shoes in your hand? That you are. You, do you know how much this shoe costs? As in, he left it for you and you're here treating my shoe ah, anyhow. Madam, now because of what now you should not even carry and put for my eye. Hey, hey, it is better you go blind and let me warn you now. This shoe that you're calling ordinary can, can feed you and your entire miserable family. I bet carry your wallet, they go up there. Ah, because of ordinary she won't blind me. Please, you just suppressed the poor guy. No, I was trying to teach him a lesson. He couldn't even apologize. Apologize for what exactly? Huh? You're still here to tell me how he damaged your shoe. And if I tell you, will you fix it? What is, what is he doing now? I mean, this is not about a shoe. Then what is it about? Did you tell me. I already did. <sighs> Fine. But listen, you have no right to hit him with that shoe. I hope you know. <laughs> what you did is punishable by two years in prison length. <laughs> and so what? You should sue me now. That one will never see food chop. Oh, I could take up his case against you. Pro bono. You wouldn't dare. Bottom line is you need to calm down, okay? Always calm down. You can't go around, you know, transferring your aggression on someone else, okay? Calm down. Babe! Babe, your phone is ringing. Did you see my phone? Oh, Oga told me. Why is he calling me? Why is he calling me? Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. You need to do a job, and you're not able to do it. Then why am I hiring you? I want to know why I'll be hiring someone if I'm paying you for a service and you can't even do it. What are you there for? Because it's very confusing to me. I don't know why. I don't. I don't see why. No, I. Let me call you back. Why did you hit my car? Hello? Oh, you again. It's like the people from your village, they sent you. Abby, why did you hit my car? Okay, tell me why you hit my car. Tell me why you hit my car. Why are you shouting? Why am I shouting? Look at all the cars on this road. You chose to hit my own car. You're asking me why I'm shouting. When you're wrong. Hey, I'm asking you a question. Please. Why did you hit my car? You, you, you didn't see any other car on this entire road. Stop shouting! What is your problem? What? Are you talking to me? Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you know who my father is? You're hitting me, you're shouting at me, you hit my own car. I was sitting in my car and this idiot that I've had an encounter with prior to this, he... I... I confronted him for hitting my car and... Ogatobi. Now, what do you define for here? No, I ask you, what do you define for here? Ogatobi, I, I just won't beg you. Say, I beg. If I, if I think just get my job back, I swear I go happy way, way. Uh, I beg. The job where your papa established for me, Abi. 
Abi o ti ja were ni. That will be no vex. Eh? No vex. That thing self, eh? I swear, I don't, I don't know why I think I don't know anything I did think. I beg. I beg. Now God, I did beg you. I beg. I beg. You don't know what you did think. See, all, all, all this is on me where you put for granted, eh? You don't go change anything. Show sure you the hear me soon. You, you the talk so you don't know what's going to happen. Okay, who pay for damages? No! She be not me pay for damages. I don't say now you pay, now you pay. I beg. Uh, now me pay. Uh, you make me pay for it, but the way I'm not sure. You come here, they come, they beg. If it's not because they're my back, therefore don't drive me home for this person. If you don't quit me, which job you will come here, come the back for? Got to be seen. If I just if I just work for you again, I swear I'm not going to go collect money this time around. Yeah. I beg. Yeah, make I just do something. Eh? Yeah? Not go collect money. Now we man the work, now man the job. I beg. Yeah? See, I beg. See, our people say come up for my house, not be come up for life. Show you the enemy. Your destiny, eh? You're not there yet. So you go carry your bad luck, eh? You carry come up for my shop now. I beg, I beg, I beg you. Beg you they embarrass me. You want to drive customer for me? Sorry, sorry. They go now. You know, you don't, you don't drive on my customers. Please, before you, before you go, let me get busy. Rubbish. This is becoming too much for me to bear. I should have allowed him to go when he wanted to. Now, now I have to take care of an adult like he's a child. And it's almost impossible for me to take care of myself. Good day lately. Hmm? Okay. Do you want to talk about it? Let's see. Talk about what? What difference would it make, babe? Tell me what difference would it make? Did I do anything? Please, 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 I beg. I don't have time for all this QA. Mind your business. <laughs> uh, so Nkechi is married. Small in Kichu. Kichi, your school daughter. Wow. She will be more than happy to hear from you, though. I want to hear from her as well. How are you? How's family and business? We are awesome, my dear. And business is blooming. I have a new salon now. A new one? What, what happened to the old one? It's still there. My husband just felt a need to expand. Wow. Your husband? Wow. You're so lucky. Hello? Miriam? Miriam? Are you there? What? Anything the matter? What do you want? I was just checking the kitchen now. You didn't prepare anything. Why now? Mariam, calm down. Not today. I will just ignore you because if I say what I have in my mind, I will regret it later. So just leave me alone.
啊。Why is she not taking her calls now? I, I hope she's okay where she is. I, but she, she, she should take her calls for crying out loud. Or send me a text message or something. Is that why you were blowing off my phone? Really? That was that was annoying. For crying out loud, I am your fiance. I was worried about you. <laughs> um, hold that thought, okay? And about that, I am not interested anymore. What are you talking about? Talking about whatever this is, this situation she will have going on. I am done. Here you go. And I want you out of my house before the end of the week. Hmm? Mary, why are you doing this? I don't have the time for your questions, okay? I have to get ready for work. Remember, end of the week. Hmm? Oh, just go back to the way it was before. Sitting right here watching you work it out through the door. Damn, it's crazy. Crazy. Feels like dying. <sighs> now I'm drowning. Now I'm drowning. I can't believe it's just a crazy Thank you for everything. feeling. The way it turns, you raise the smile. What the crazy feeling should have known. <laughs> Never let you walk out of the door. No, no, no. Now the mirror is broken. Can't even see my face. No, tell the story. Tell me I'm losing my faith. Feels like dying. Dave, right? Yes, ma'am. You sound like a very young, responsible young guy. Thank you very much, ma'am. I hope I will not regret hiring you. No, I promise you, you, you will not regret it, ma'am. Anyway, the recruiting agency have an excellent tax force. Yes, And I'm sure you will not let them down. I promise I will not let them down. Okay. Hey, ma'am, when, when can I resume? You resume when you get your letter. Oh, okay, ma'am. Thank, thank you very much. I'm so happy you got rid of that parasite. Now, why do I feel bad? I feel like I did him wrong. Hey, uh, you let it so funny they tire you. Let me ask you, did you ever take a mirror and look at what you were looking like when you were with that guy? You were looking older than your age. That guy drained you like mad. I <sighs> just I wanted the best for him. I beg he lacks grace. Don't say that. <laughs> I can see you're in love with him. You're still in love with him. It's obvious. Don't worry. It's just a matter of time. You get over him. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. How are things between you and Mika? Uh, well... Fun, at least. Guess what? What? We're going to Omo Resort this weekend for a getaway. Hey, secret! Are you all right? That's what that good for nothing guy was depriving you of. <sighs> see, 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 I don't want to ever hear you mention with Lady Gelo. Do you think that we almost fought because of that Lisa? Mm, I hear you. You don't want me to mention his name again, but you're the one always bringing up his topic. Are you sure you don't want to hear about him because it's beginning to look like <laughs> you like hearing about him? Sorry, sorry, dear. That doesn't vex me. 
but you and me can look so good together. Mm. That's what they call match made in heaven. A oh, period. Not that one. Satan was trying to manufacture for me. Hey, okay. hey, please, 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 please. No, no, no. David Slender will be converted uh, yet. Uh, sorry, sorry, I forgot. Thank you. I'm happy for you. Me too. Oh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun. I'll take a lot of pictures. I'll post. I'll blind my haters like, ah, I'm popping now, I guys. See. Take the back seat. If you, <laughs> you have done all this. Exactly, are you doing here? Here, I, I, I work here. <laughs> you and I both know that's not possible. You cannot be. In fact, you will never work here. Madam, please. Hey. I beg you. I do I, not. I, I need this job. Madam, me. So you think you're so smart? Your plan is to come here, spy on me, and then take your revenge. Oh. I can see right through. Madam, I didn't even know you stay here. Start Let's talk of gathering all your nonsense inside that security post. For as long as my family owns this estate, you will never, are you listening? Never work in this estate. How about you get out? Why, why are my village people following me up and down? What, what, what is this? <laughs> That'll be all for now, Tega. Thank you, Mom. <sighs> How is your security guy? How is my gate man doing? How is opening and closing the gate? How else is he supposed to be doing? Oh, I'm just happy you didn't fire the guy. <laughs> I would have. My mom just liked him for some reason. Yeah, but if he's diligent at his job, you should just put up with him now. I, I just don't like the guy. I, I don't know. Around you, darling. Okay. Can we please stop talking about my gate man? Yes, mom. Tega, <clears throat> please come back. Honking. I'm very sorry. sorry for what? What were you doing? I had no idea. You had no idea. You were sitting down here sleeping in broad daylight. The next time you try this nonsense, you'll be sorry for so many things. Can see you're getting so comfortable sleeping.
Alice, yes, you're going mom. out. Ready? Yes. I heard you shouting downstairs. I was talking to Mazi Chinedu over the phone. <laughs> Can you imagine? You're already planning on selling your father's 10 acres in Obinze. <laughs> Wait, well, why would Mazi be thinking of doing that? Daddy made it very clear that he set aside that land specifically to build a vocational training center for the less privileged children. How can they be thinking of that? Exactly what I told that greedy uncle of yours. Can you imagine? He opened that, he's filled him out to tell me that eventually that piece of land is going to become theirs and they will do with it whatever they want. Can you imagine? Huh? What's wrong with them? It's not even up to 10 years. Because they think you'll never get married. They're already planning on sharing the 70%. How, how is it their 70%? How won't it be, Alice? How would it be? Because in seven months' time, it will be your late father's 10th year anniversary. And his estate will be shared. And there's only one condition that can prevent that. But obviously, you're not ready to do that. Honestly, these, these people don't deserve a thing. You're the only one that can prevent it. I know, but, but I can't force myself on a man, Mommy. And it hurts. Since Kesta left, I, I can't even fathom the thought of being with another man, talk less of falling in love. You can. You only need to re-examine yourself. What does that even mean, Mommy? Do you think you will get a responsible man in all those nightclubs that you frequent every night? Huh? The neighbors are already talking. And it's disturbing. And saying what? They're talking and saying what? That I'm going to the clubs to hook up or what? I wouldn't blame them. Because if I wasn't your mother, I would say the same. So let them feel that way. Who cares? I don't care what they think or how they feel. I don't. Alice, you need to start caring. Because no one lives in isolation in this world. No one. Okay, I... Did you get anything cute? Thank you. Where did you get this one? Mm, I've always had it. I need new ones though. Mm. <laughs> Hope you're staying long this time around. Um, it's about time. I have a meeting to attend in the lounge. Talk about it. <laughs> Babe, we can always go from here. I need to change my clothes. I can't go to the meeting dressed like this. Could you have some of your clothes here? What about the documents I need for the meeting? <sighs> time. We can go for a look at this place. Babe. Come on. I know you're upset, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. How? Okay. How about we spend the weekend at the Royals? <laughs> Royals? Really? Don't believe me. <laughs> no, just I was not expecting it. Okay. The weekend is in two days' time. So I'll go and start getting your things ready. Of course. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. You're going to come back? Sure. Okay. He barely even got this. <laughs> That's what I told him. Uh -uh. <laughs> and you? You're still washing the car. I'm almost done. It's just the other window. That means you're still not done, stupid. What is wrong with you? Why did you call him that? I don't like it when you challenge me in front of my subordinates. I don't. And I don't like it when you act so cocky. Madam, I'm done now. Get me the khaki, please. Where's the khaki? You don't want to open for me. You have started. He 
He's such a fine young man. Who? Your security guy. That low life. Alice, I don't know you to be this person. I mean, they can start turning you into this. Please, I told you before, stop mentioning his name. And he's very polite as well. Kester. Ah, your security guy. Of course he's polite. Poor people have no choice but to be polite to the hands that feed them. Being poor and broke, that's a very bad contrast. He seems educated as well. He is. He said he's a graduate of UNN, I think. Oh, I thought as much. Um, he couldn't get a job and then he ended up with you. And then you intimidate him. Okay. Did you think for a second, maybe it's his bad character or bad manners that has prevented him from getting a good job? I don't think so. I just think the guy is not so lucky. And how would you know? Uh, because having encountered you on two different occasions, we all know how that ended for him. And the irony of this all is that... You know, you were the aggressor and he was the one always being punished. Okay, so what am I now? Bad luck? Nope. His nightmare. You could change that. Why? Why? <laughs> Listen, sweetheart. I know that inside this angry woman is a very wonderful person. Okay? Maybe if you just free yourself from all this anger, just Free yourself, let go, you know, and be free from your own captivity. Come on, Alice. I told you, anger doesn't be good. Please, enough of this talk about captivity and anger. Let's always talking about angry woman and all these things. Stop speaking about my security man. I don't think you realize how absurd this sounds. When exactly did I employ additional staff that I have no knowledge of? Does that make any sense to you? What expatriates are we talking about? The only foreigners in the company is, is uh, Anani and Kofi. Yes, and they've already been taxed. No, no. You Tete and Agabe, they are citizens of this country, so why should they be taxed? Let me make this clear to you. This is a case of multiple taxation and I will not let it slide. No, not this time. So figure it out or try to solve this problem as soon as possible because that's why I employ you to work for me. Yeah, let me know as soon as possible. And what is it? You, you asked to see me, ma. Um, yeah, I, I need you to take my car to Kunle, my mechanic's place. That's the key. And do not come back late. I don't want to leave only Okiti at the gate. Yes, ma'am. Um, sorry, ma'am. Mm -hmm. I overheard you talking about your company being overtaxed. So, with your permission, of course, I, I wanted to ask if I can look into the matter so we can know where the problem is coming from. But so let me understand this. You want me to give you, my gate man, an opportunity to handle the taxing in my company? Have you lost your mind? Come on, you get out of my face. Sorry, sorry. Idiot. <laughs> it's your audacity for me. Why exactly would you tell me there is nothing you can do about it? This is a pure case of incompetence. No, no. What you're going to do is figure out how you can find this problem, resolve it, and then let me know. If not, I'll just have to go ahead and hire a new auditing firm. Because what am I hiring you for? What am I paying you for? Dave. Yes, 
Yes, ma'am. Come here. Good day, ma'am. Mm -hmm. You mentioned to me that you studied taxation in UNM. Yes, ma'am. But you haven't spent a day in the office as a tax officer. No, ma, I haven't. So, enlighten me. How do you intend to solve my tax problem? Well, ma, if I can take a look at the problem, I am sure that I can find a solution for it. Fine. Take a look at this, and I'll send you a voice note as regards the information of the documents. Okay. Let me get the gate. Come in. Good day, Ma. What is it? Ma, <clears throat> all my reports and findings are all in the file. Thank you, Dave. What? I said thank you. I heard it the first time, Mom. I just wasn't sure when you said that. So, what if I said it? I'm done with you. You can leave now. Okay, Mom. the message from the LIRS this morning talking about how they've been overtaxing me for years. LIRS sent you an email to apologize. Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to pinch myself to wake up. And you know what the best part is? Because they are literally at my mercy, I stand a chance to be able to plan one of the biggest state events as a compensation. I should pinch myself also to confirm this is not a dream. And your tax consultant did not detect a thing. I'm telling you, those guys are just taking my salary for nothing. I, every time I brought this up, they made it seem like I was hallucinating or blowing things out of proportion. <sighs> Anyways. Thank God for Dave. He literally saved the day. He solved this problem in less than 72 hours. Can you believe that? That guy is a genius. And to think he's a security guy. I found out that he's chattered. No way. You must be joking. No, I'm serious, okay? See, you have to help that guy. If not for anything, just to thank him. So, what am I now? Bad luck? Uh, 
because having encountered you on two different occasions, we all know how that ended for him. And the irony of this all is that, you know, you were the aggressor and he was the one always being punished. Poor people have no choice but to be polite to the hands that feed them. Being poor and broke, that's a very bad contrast. I know that inside this angry woman is a very wonderful person, okay? Maybe if you just free yourself from all this anger. Dave! Dave! How many times do I have to call you? You see, I knew it was only a matter of time before you would go ahead to prove your incompetence. I'm sorry, madam. What are I you talking about? I asked you to wash my car. And instead of you to do that, you are doing something else. Huh? Madam, you didn't tell me to wash your car. You, you didn't even tell me you were going out today. Oh, so I'm lying. I'm so scared of you that I have to lie to you. Or I have to tell you when I'm going out, eh? No answer. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I must have missed it. Of course you missed it. You were busy thinking of your useless mother in the village. That's why you missed it. What did you just say? You heard me. You must be very, very stupid. <laughs> Excuse me? I said you must be very, very stupid for calling my mother useless. Think of today as the last day in your life you will ever work for me. Fine. I'm done. I'm done condoling your stupid attitude, you sport brat. Madam, this is the attendance board. Are you leaving? You sacked me two hours ago. Sit. Please, Dave, just sit. The door is open, come. What are you doing here, Dave? I came to see you. That is not the answer to my question. Miriam, I, I don't know the answer to the question. But all I know is that I miss you. I miss us. And I want us to get back together, please. Back together and go back to the way things were? No, I can't. Listen, Dave, I loved you. You know I really did. But you were draining me. I'm talking mentally, emotionally, and financially. I was looking like the shadow of myself just because I was with you. Yeah, I, I promise. Things are not going to be that way anymore. And I, I, might, I might stop working with an auditor very <laughs> soon. Did you say might? You're not even sure. All your life you lived it based on hope, hope, and more hopes that never come to fruition. I can't do this anymore. Please leave. I know the truth hurts. But the thing is, I'm engaged to a real man who takes good care of me. I mean, <laughs> what are the odds? You have to leave. I'm getting married in five weeks. Yes. Yes. Five weeks. Yes. Now I'm drowning. So you see why I can't do this? Yeah. Please. It's already done. Dave. Please leave. The way and turns, you raise the smile, what the crazy feeling. Please. 
should have known Never let you walk out the door No, no, no Inside so strong, pushing me closer to you. Something I can't explain. Oh, oh, oh. I'm trying so hard to resist, but I'm falling for you head over heels. Something I can't explain. My imagination Could it be love, love Or just my fantasy Where do I go The start is driving me crazy yeah. Who do I call I need a moment I believe Alice, don't you dare walk out on me when I'm talking to you. I'm your mother and I demand respect. Tell me, what is it now? What do you want from me? I don't like your sudden interest in that David of a guy. It's traumatizing that you're going out on a date with our gate man. Former gate man, mommy, and he only took that job because he had no choice. And besides, what does that matter now? He works with the biggest auditing firm in the country. A job you got for him. So, he earned it. And the firm is more than happy to have him. Let me tell you, Alice. You and Dave, whatever he calls himself, you're not on the same level. You're not. Look, Martin called me last night and he said he's going to be in town next weekend. Okay, that's good for Martin, but I, I don't see how that piece of information does anything. He's coming around to see you, and hopefully you'll bond again. <laughs> okay, mommy, what are you now? A matchmaker all of a sudden. And if my memory serves me right, when we were together or having a thing, you didn't support it. I didn't support it because you're too young then. We were teenagers, mom. And it was mere exorbitant, so when you say pick up from where we left things off, I don't know what you mean. Alice, all I'm saying is that you've known Martin all your life. Unlike the gate man, you barely know. Which is why I'm trying to spend time with Dave and get to know him. And please, stop calling him a gate man. <sighs> That's what he is. And that is what he will always be. A gate man. Ah, you this a shower girl. Hey, so you've liked this guy all this while. No. I mean, no wonder you were, you know, acting so hostile. Not as much. Let me tell you, in the beginning, I didn't feel an atom of interest in Dave. He was my security man, for Christ's sake. Hey, so what do you call this one? God's plan? Huh? <laughs> oh, hey. God's what? 
slime. God slime. <laughs> Look, I've thought about it a million times. And that's the only rational answer that comes to mind. Okay, truly the Lord works in mysterious ways. He does. <laughs> he does. So, <clears throat> have you guys done it? Done what? Come on, you know what I'm talking about. Done to do. I mean, at least to help clear the weed that must have oh, been growing down there. Oh my there. gosh, <laughs> you're so gross. I know. Put that boy in Sha. Mm -hmm. So fine. You should see him when he's fully dressed up. He makes heads turn. I have to hold him properly just to let the girls know that this one is already taken. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, you know, I, I just hope he doesn't turn out to be another caster. No, I, I don't think he is or he'll be. He's, um, he's genuine. And when we're having conversations, I can see right through him. <clears throat> Okay, and mom? At first it was, oh, get a man. Now I have gotten myself a man and she's kicking against it. I don't know what African mothers want. Wait, because of that um, Godwin guy? Uh, whatever his name is, precisely. Uh, I don't know, you can't blame her now. I mean, Kester comes to mind here. After he used you to climb up to where he is, what did he do to show appreciation? Hmm? But people are different. You have told me that more than anyone and you've been going on and on and on about moving on and now I'm moving on. Yes, I know. I said all that. But just make sure that this Dave guy is truly who he, you know, says he is. So, how is your conference going? Sweetheart, you are changing the topic. No, I have heard everything that you have said and I will take it into consideration. I need to trust that I'll do the right thing. Okay. I trust you. <laughs> and as for the conference, it was refreshing. Did you stammer? Come in! <sighs> Tell me this is not real. I was going to tell you. When? At what point, Emeka? After we get married? Oh, wait. Maybe your master plan is to sit me down on my wedding night and tell me that you are a chigolo that sleeps with women old enough to be your grandmother. Pig! Miriam, I am sorry. But a man has to do what he can to survive. Wow, so all that, all that talk about important office appliances were all lies? He promised to look after you is not a lie. Only sleep with these women for their money. This shouldn't be a big deal. Wow. So being a chigolo is your means of livelihood. Emeka! This is the only person I knew about. And now that you know, I expect you to support me. I only sleep with them, satisfy their sexual fantasies, and they pay me. I don't love them. I talk about this. Get out of my house. Get out of my house this minute. Go! If I speak one more word, I will scream and I will call my neighbors and accuse you of rape. Just get out of here. Now, leave and never come back. Stop allowing your friends gets in your head. I understand if you need reassurance, but not when someone else influences you. I know the truth hurts, but the thing is, I'm engaged. To a real man who takes good care of me. I mean, <laughs> what are the odds? <sighs> you have to leave. I'm getting married in five weeks. Five weeks? Yes. So you see why I can do this? Mary, please, don't do this. I beg you, please. It's already done. Leave. Please leave.
Babe, do you think we're moving too fast? Would you rather that we slow down? No, no. What's in your mind? I'm sorry. What are you sorry about? Everything. Hitting you with my shoe, locking you up, and how I treated you when you worked for me. Yeah, you were so mean. You know, looking back, I, I can't even recognize myself. It's just after my previous relationship ended, I turned into this person that I couldn't recognize. Well, look at us now. Our love story. We should make a movie about us. I prefer a book. Book, movie, mm -hmm. whatever. <laughs> Our love story is beautiful and it should be told. I love you. I love you too. We should go skydiving. Someday, definitely. Why are you so up? Why did you switch off your phone? My phone was switched off. <laughs> the battery must have died or something. The battery died. Stop playing your stupid games with me. I'm your mother. And I know all the tricks in the book. Mommy, what is it again this night now? It's late. He knew Martin was coming around to see you. Why? Why is he coming to see me? You're the one who invited him, not me. I invited him because of you. And I have told you several times, I am not interested in Martins or Martin, whatever his name is. It's never going to happen. Stop thinking about it. This thing that you think is going to happen between the both. Never! Alice. Good night, mommy. Don't stay up too late, okay? Babe, I'm coming. I'm almost at the door. Welcome to the love of my life. <laughs> Hi, Dave. Miriam. <sighs> How did you... How did I know where you live? <laughs> well, I trailed you to your workplace and then to this place. This house is beautiful. Okay. Are you stalking me? Wow. You have really done so well for yourself. I'm proud of you. <sighs> Dave, I miss you. And I know you missed me too. You said that the day you came to my house. Okay, I did. But that was in the past. I have somebody now. And it's kind of serious. <laughs> Is it serious? Oh, kind of. It is very, very serious. But I am back. And so? And so we can pick up from where we left things. I know I made a mistake and I'm sorry. It's perfect these days. We all make mistakes. Please forgive me. I'm only human. Who's that? Excuse me. Uh, hey. mm, you're not dressed? Yeah. Uh, this is Miriam, my ex. Dave's 
very serious conflict. Don't I know you? Maybe. It's a very small town. Uh, I remember you. The very rude girl from the station. Is she the one you're in a serious relationship with? Yes. And that was in the past. I don't understand. So you, you can forgive this insolent girl, but you cannot forgive me for just one mistake. There is nothing to forgive. It just didn't work out between the both of us. I loved you. But now I'm in love with someone else. And, and she means everything to me. And, 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 and this is the only person I want to be with. So please, move on. It's me. It's me. Please. No way I am moving on without Dave. That bitch destroyed her so that she can have him to herself. No way! But people are wicked, Sha. I'm sure she planned this all along. Trust me, when she's done with him, she'll throw him back to the street. Exactly! You see, I am not crazy. That's the point I've been trying to make him understand, but clearly he's not thinking straight. I am not going to let that happen. I will not! You should not let this happen. Though. You should never ever let this happen. See, you brought this guy to Lagos and I tried to take him away from you just like that. Huh. I brought him to Lagos, right? You just said you're my witness. I brought him and he was wretched. I, I cleaned him up and she thinks she can just have him. No way. I will not let that happen. You see, this war is between me and that little slut. I will not let her win. I will not just sit down and do nothing. I will get my man back. Chinei. Uh, Alpha, Gine, you. Gine, I will call you back at the come. Who be that? Madam, good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. I want to see Miss Alice. Madam, Miss Alice, do the around. What about her mother? I'm sure that her mother lives here with her. I her want mother. to see her mother. Her mother? Her mother there, I was born. Say, you don't call now, or you get code. Which code? Which smelling code? I don't care. I want to see Madame, and I want to see her now. Okay, wait. Are they come? Are they Hurry come? up! Are they come? Are they come? They find Madame there, idiot. Open this gate. Open this. Open this gate now. I want to see Madame. Oh, you bring Alice right now. I have to see her face to face. It is true. Her mother gave me those documents. And she said you can come by the house if you want more verification. What is going on? She never loved you, babe. All she cares about is her inheritance. And once she gets it, trust me, she will spit you out and throw you back to the streets. No. 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 So you mean all of this was a ruse? Like, I was a means to an end? Isn't that obvious? She's a user. She's selfish. Nothing was meant to ever work out with you on her, ever since your two encounters with her. I need 
need time. I need, I need time to. I need time to think all of this through. Of course. Take all the time you want. But remember, I'm here for you, okay? Always here for you. I need you to Please, just, just go. Where did you get this? Place? That is besides the point, Alice. I was going to tell you. About when? It. When were you going to tell me about it? Maybe when you finally fulfilled your wish. Or oh, all of your little wicked plans all came to pass. Like a big bang. Is that when? You know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm stating the obvious. You were using me. That was just a pawn in your game. You wanted to use me to get all of your inheritance. And now you got it. Right? Damn. You know that's not true. This will not be the first time you're trying to fuck my life up. I would not be surprised if I get a call from the guys at the auditing firm that I have been sacked. And they throw me out of this house. Everything I did is in the past now. And I'm not proud of it. None of this makes sense. Please leave. Excuse Alice, me. I said leave before I make you. to decide what is right for me. I'm your mother. That was my own choice to make. Sometimes as a parent, we have to do the right thing for our kids, no matter how grown they are. Look, someday you will understand. And you thank me for this. You know, maybe you should call Mazi to start sharing dad's property. 70, 100%, whatever, mom. I really don't care. You know I will never allow that. 
I won't allow you to lose your inheritance because of your stubbornness. What is this? I thought you said you were sick. I lied. I wanted to see that you don't feel sick. What are you doing? Getting my man back. Hey, I am nobody's man. And I am definitely not your man. Look, I know you've broken up with Alice. I want us to pick up from where you left things. We are not picking up from where we left things. Miriam, I'm not a tool that you can just pick up and use and toss away when you're done and come back when you need it again. You said I was sorry, okay? I'm sorry, forgive. Let go of me. I know what I did was unfair, but I was in a tight corner. I bet you would do the same thing in my shoes. Well, I guess we'll never find out. Babe, babe. How did you get into my house? I still have my key. Oh, I forgot. Are you traveling? No, I'm... I'm moving in with you. What? Look, Dave, I don't care about the inheritance. This is what I care about. I care about us. That's what matters to me. Are you sure? Are you sure about this? Look, I can't afford to lose what we are and what we could be. I don't care about the inheritance and I'm not going to marry Martin or Martins. No. This is what I care about. Oh, you make me feel like a natural this. woman when you open this is what I care about. your heart. You make me feel <laughs> so beautiful. I just love it. You make me fall in love. Fall in love. Fall in love. Fall in love. I advise you take the offer. You can stay with us for a while. And you know that Alice is not a stable person. Madam, Alice was reckless. But we shouldn't judge her by that. The Alice I know is a very lovable and kind-hearted woman. Let me tell you, it is only a matter of time before she flips on you. Let me advise you. Leave Alice alone. You've been nice to me since I got here. And every single advice you have given me, I appreciate it and I have followed. But on this one, I, I beg to differ. I have another offer for you. What are you talking about? Here's a check of 10 million naira for you to take a walk. It, it, it's, it's not about the money, ma. 20 million? No. Okay, 30 million. Madam, 
It has never, it has never been about the money. I can see that you're very stupid. I'll tell you, Alice is not going to marry me because she's my daughter. Now get out. Get out! It was nice to see you again. I don't ever want to see you again. Ever. What is this about? My mom called me and she told me everything that happened. She's so proud of you. It was a setup? No. Boy, you make me feel like a natural woman when you open all your heart. You make me feel. So beautiful, I just love it to make me fall in love. Can I get you, can fall, in love. Love. fall in love. Baby, your phone, it's ringing. Oh, who is it? Oh. Hello? Oh. Yes, who is it? Wait, what? Where? Why, Mary? Why? <laughs> oh, not you have play with me. Babe, you can't just continue to sit here and soak all. What do you want me to do? Use Juju on them? If that is what it would take to get your mom back, then do it. God forbid. My day will come back to me. I know. Okay, keep knowing. Are you leaving already? Let's use your shirt. Love you. Ah, Emeka, this bastard, what does he want? Mm-hmm. Player. So you're done deceiving me. You want to move on to my friend, you bastard. Watch your tone, woman. And it is funny who you call your friend. What is this one talking about? The truth. If you think that she is your friend, then you are mistaken. Do you care to know why I am calling her? I will do you the honor. Just check her phone and you will discover things for yourself. What, what are you up to? Hello? Hello? Who are you right now? I, I can explain you. So, you have been fantasizing about being with my man. Sending him your nude pictures, sending him messages, telling him that you're going to treat him better if he leaves me. You! It's, it's not as it seems. It's, it's... And then you come here every day, trash talking him. Devaluing him in front of me, saying this, playing with my head, you make me break up with him. I, I didn't make you break up with him, it was your choice. Of course. You know, you're right. I'm foolish. Don't move. I blame myself, okay? I blame myself for letting you play with my head. 
I blame myself for believing you. I blame myself for listening to you, listening to all your advice, telling me all sort of things. I blame myself also for letting you hook me up with Emeka. I thought you were doing it because you cared about me. You, you wanted me to move on. Little did I know that you were doing it for the money. Nachi, you're a pimp. You're a pimp. What the hell is this? I, I didn't force you to date Emeka. Shut, Shut up! Shut your dirty mouth, you filthy backstabbing whore! Please stop talking to me as I'm a child. Give and, me my phone. And if I don't, stay here. If I don't, what would you do? Give me my phone! I said if I don't, get back here. How dare you? I'm bad enough of you! I'm bad enough of you! You wicked friend! I hate you! I, I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you. You should have just given her the phone. I was too angry to think. I felt betrayed. Anachi has never been a good friend. And every time I, I try to warn you about her, but you caught me off. You should have come to me with just pictures of this. Please dedicate it to yourself if you have told me all oh, this friends that will happen. Yes. Maybe I should. I should have. The good thing is that she's she's still alive. And I will do everything in my power to make sure she survives. And I will get you a good life. But am I going to go to jail? I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to be here. I want to go home. Please help me. Hey, look at me. Hey. I promise you. I will do everything in my power to get you out of here. I promise. Thank you. I'm sorry. Lack of love. Because I'm happy, quite alone, and it feels like happiness. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much, baby. You know you deserve this. Babe, none of this would have been possible without you. You see, babe, you complete me. You make me fulfilled. And I want to ask you to please complete this life cycle with me and be my wife. Yes. Yes. Yes, I'll be your wife today, tomorrow, and every day for the rest of my lives. Thank you so much, my lady. I, I love you. <laughs> Do you hear that? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, hello? Yeah, who is it? Oh, good evening. Oh, that's good news. I'll be there first thing in the morning. All right, good night. You'll be where first thing in the morning? Is the IPO on Miriam's case? And? He said Osinachi dropped the charges and wants to settle off court. And so I should come tomorrow and sign her release papers. Oh. That's, that's good for her. And you too. 
Me? I'm a free man. I'm not the one who's arrested. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe not physically, but <sighs> mentally I can see how her arrest took a toll on you. Thank you so much for understanding. Amen. She's really a nice person. We, we just didn't work out. I know. I understand. She is a good person. Thank you. I love this is the part. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you want, baby, I do for you. Oh my, everything 